Hey guys, it's Maggie's Movies. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm gonna tell you what I'm all about. I just make videos for college students and incoming college students and my friends and family because that's who's watching it right now. Anyway, so today we are going to be talking about what work study is in college. And if you don't know what that even means or don't even have a general idea, stick around and it will all be revealed. I don't get it now. Work study gives students the option, the option to earn funds for their education while encouraging work and service work throughout college. Each school receives a block of funds and they distribute those awards based on your FAFSA, which is essentially your tax and income form that you fill out to establish your need-based aid and where you fall financially. So, why are people confused? Well, it's essentially a part-time job. In many ways, it is just like having a job. You are responsible for finding your employment on campus. Your funds go into a bank account with no limits on how you use them, just like they would a job. But instead of departments using their funding to pay you, they are using government funds, which gives them an incentive to hire you. Additionally, work-study employers are usually more forgiving about school schedule and knowing that college and studying are going to be your priority, even though you are going to be committed to this job. So, the pros and cons of work-study. Pro, you never have to pay it back. Once you earn all that money and it goes directly into your bank account, it is your money. It's not a loan. You get this money. Also, because you did earn this money, you have more options on how you use it. It is not specifically for tuition. You can use it for food, housing, and just things that will bring you comfort while you're going through your college experience. Additionally, your work-study award does not impact your future FAFSAs. It will not decrease your opportunity to get additional need-based financial aid. Also, having a job and getting experience with an understanding employer is just so hard to find in college. My first job is a work study job and it's really been a great way to get some experience. Ex and it's really been a great way to get some experience in a field that I'm interested in. Now, cons. On-campus jobs can sometimes pay low wages. My job is about $10 an hour, um, which is pretty good for an on-campus job. Not many more make more than that unless you've been working for a while and the campus decides to give you a raise. So it may be hard to earn all your money and you may have to work a good amount of hours. You do have to earn your money. Unlike a loan or a merit scholarship, you, you do not just get the money assigned to you. You have to do the work to earn all of that money. Also, if you make enough income with your work study award, it is subject to taxation. Um, and you will have to fill out some tax forms, possibly. So, how does work-study work? How does one go about participating in work-study? Once you fill out your FAFSA and submit it to your school's financial aid office, they should come back to you with a little breakdown of what you qualified for in terms of loans, work-study, merit, scholarship, etc. Kind of breaking down your financial commitment to this institution. And here is mine as an example. So as you can see, I receive 1,750 work study dollars a semester. If I don't work enough hours, that money just poof, gone, gone. So I get paid $10 an hour, like I said, so that means I need to in order to make all my money, work 175 hours a semester. That averages, I think, somewhere between eight and 14 hours a week. So if I work over 175 hours, my department may choose to pay out of their pocket for me to continue working, or they may decide that I'm done for the semester until my money renews. They have every right to not continue paying you once your government money has run out. So. Since this is like a job and you do have to apply and interview for positions on your own, you may be wondering, 
How do I find an on-campus job? Well, I have the answers. On Two Lights Campus, we use the app Handshake. It's what you would imagine an app, job application app would look like. And I believe many other college campuses use it as well. So look on your school's website to find their information about on-campus jobs. And they will likely refer you to whatever app, outside, or internal source they use. Sometimes schools have virtual job fairs or something similar. So look out for those because those can be a really good opportunity to find yourself some employment. <sighs> Make sure you have a good resume and apply to as many jobs as possible. I swear, I definitely applied to like 10 jobs and they were all like, no, um, silence. Uh. Until I finally heard back about my position at the scene shop at Tulane University. I can't believe I haven't said it throughout this video, but if you watched any of my other videos, I almost always mention that I'm a work study student at the Tulane Theater and Dance Department. Whenever I call the businesses in the area that we work with such as southern saw and cutters and other stuff i'm always like this is margaret sides calling from tulane theater and dance and i was wondering uh, etc so that's what i sound like so now you've been hired you have a job you're a girl boss and you're wondering what happens once i get hired once i get hired so as a girl boss myself i can tell you exactly what goes down um so there will be forms for taxes and employment certifications to fill out and submit to your department. You will likely have to go through training before you can actually begin working. If you plan on taking advantage of your work study money your first semester of college, be prepared to lose some precious funds to watch them fly far away because you will likely not get hired to around mid-semester. I got hired in October um, after constantly applying and no, I did not make all of my money. Okay, what happens once I get my cash money? So your employer will connect to your bank account or some other version. I think most schools will directly route the funds to your bank account once you get that all set up. And your paycheck as a work-study student should come in at least monthly. I get mine every two weeks on Thursday. Thursday's on my payday. I got a fat check yesterday. So I recommend that you open a savings account just so you can monitor your spending a little bit better and not just have to will yourself to not use that money. I probably put in like at least 75% of my paycheck into savings because I want expensive things sometimes and I don't want to spend it all on pizza or something. All right, guys, that has been the video, but please don't leave, subscribe, like, comment, tell me you hate me. My haters are my motivators. Um, and for now, this has been Maggie's Movies. But also, wait, 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 don't go, don't, don't go, don't go. <laughs> Please follow the YouTube channel on Instagram. My contact's falling out. Oh shoot. It's at Maggie's Movies YT, like YouTube. Um, and you'll find out, you know, early video announcements, etc., etc. Please don't leave.